is this a matchup we would have thought for the quarterfinals? Maybe not. But they have played so, so well. Fernanda and Barbara undefeated. They only dropped their first set last night against Carla Borger and Julius Sidder, the new German pairing, going home in front of their own fans in a three-set epic. Wins over Finland, Austria, Slovakia and Mexico have also helped the cause here for Brazil in what has been, well, really, they've done it the quiet way. Not often in the Rottenbach Arena. Their debut in this great setting was just last night for the Swiss. Well, they beat Australia, Nicole Lard and Bakara Palmer, Egypt. They lost to the Netherlands, Mepelink and Kaiser, the European champions, as they did in the European Championship last year. But wins against Slovakia. And that win against Rebecca and Anna Patricia. Yes, they, they knocked out the favourites for this competition. And can they knock out another Brazilian team? Ubli back to the line. Partners in the World Tour since 2016. Four bronze medals. A gold in the European satellite event in their first season. Smiles for Switzerland. Good from Brazil. Fernanda, we've seen her throughout the competition use her height to go over the hands. This time, swatted back. Berchardt, so quick to cover the sand. Almost there too early. The first time, second time, a little bit late. Well, for Switzerland, a ninth in Walsall was good preparation for this tournament. Hubley being served early on having to bump it back really deep, trying to upset the rhythm still of Brazil getting into the net, good scoop, but Fernanda. They didn't start well out here last night, this team, but they've started well here today. Fernanda ripping angle. Ubele, chips angle, good look at the court. The vision, the eyes, seeing everything before just chipping away. Jumping into the angle, watching for the defender, sweeping the line, going over the top. from Fernanda. She's been given a large proportion of the service pressure so far, and she's just dealing with it. Through the scene, drawing the ball back. Really, really smooth work. Well, the first change of ends, and it's Brazil that's are leading, and when you look through the teams, Juliana, Larissa, Jackie Silva, to name a few legends of this game. Brazil just aren't used to not being in the final four, and they need to win this to still have a chance of winning a medal. Fast passing, Hubli off the net, finds Fernanda. Brazil are firing on all cylinders here. Mind block. That's all about Fernanda, out of system, out of rhythm. Trying to bang their way out of trouble, Switzerland. But all they find, Fernanda. Can't be underestimated, this Swiss team making the final of the European Championship in The Hague last year.
in the Zuda Park, losing out that day to Kaiser and Meppelink, but they've gone further than Kaiser and Meppelink overall, even though they lost to them again here in Pool H. What have we been watching this week? Rebecca and Anna Patricia on paper, having won twice on the World Tour this year, and making top tens every event, but podiums all the time. Were the favourites against Switzerland yesterday, and they went down in three. Big scenes on the outside courts, it really was. One of the biggest results in Swiss volleyball history. Back set this time for Fernanda. Back to the line. Bird shots there. They're looking comfortable now, the Swiss. But firing wide is Nina Bird shots. Left-handed Barbara sells the line, goes to the cross court. Really well disguised that from the Brazilian. Body faces one way, arm operates the other. Concentration in the eyes of Fernanda. Swiss caught cold on a cold day as well in Hamburg. Bed sharp fires away. The Swiss have never won this competition. Only Germany in 2017 and China in 2013 are the only non winners. Sorry, the only winners that weren't from Brazil or the United States, but there's another race here. There'll be some nervous fans from Switzerland. You would feel with the country's cultures and histories that Brazil would always be favorite in this clash. But Switzerland are playing so well, they're right with Brazil. Fernanda and Barbara last played in Ostrava and the four star took a fifth. Jing Zhang took a ninth. Atabima in home sand took a ninth as well, but a second in the Vienna Major last year was a crazy good result for them. And this is crazy good as well. It's a three point game. Brazil, who have been rocked in this competition. Great break from Fernand. Agile for someone as tall as her. Powerful back into the sand as well. And in the men's side of the draw, it's similar. It's without Alisson and Bruno. Stunned by Billy Allen and Stafford Slick from the USA yesterday. Alisson is the only reigning world champion, or former world champion, left in this draw on the men's side. The 2015 world champion, still playing with Alvaro Filo. And for Andre and George, they go again on the men's side today. Andre, actually, the champion from 2017. And he won with Evandro, but Evandro's got the big blocker. Biggest server in the world as well, but Paolo Nicolai has the fastest recorded serve. And they go a little bit later on as well. No block, no respect, fire to the line! The Swiss are still very much in this one.
a miss serve sends us to the technical 12-9 doesn't feel like 12-9 seems a little bit closer than that there's still much room for switzerland here to get back into this but this is a must win for brazil the winner plays Sarah Pavin and Melissa Mana Paredes in the semi after they just flew past Italy. Italy never got go. Absolutely not. The moment so far for Switzerland. The highest block of the game from Tanya Hubli. There's a big, big roster of Swiss blockers. Joanna Heydrich and Uka Versha Dupree. Two blockers playing together who both won a junior age group world championship with Nina Betchart. 2011-2012 now playing together, but they fell at the hands of Australia. They're not the only team to have done that, as Australia have qualified for the final four. So far, the only team to do so alongside Canada. And an All-American affair coming up very soon as well. It's all to play for in the women's event. Hubley! Fired up for this one. Tanya Hubley. Charges in, works away. Bangs angle, scores. Brazil not even feeling the pressure as of yet. Barbara, who was very good last night, but this is a much cleaner game for Brazil than last night as well. It's a scruffy game against Borgesuda. So many errors and nerves from both teams, the whole crowd cheering against Brazil. This is different. This is much more within their comfort zone. The crowd, more neutral. The game, much more relaxed. Brazil. Strong hit. Ace from Barbara. Moving it short, dipping on Hubley. Very difficult to react to that short ball. They're feeling everything, Brazil. They wear their hearts on their sleeve. And it's another point for the green and gold. Well, four points game. Timeouts, because even after the technical, it's been Brazil that have come out. Really strong. The sand on this show court. Supposedly a little bit deeper than on the outside, meaning it's slightly more difficult to get out of for the players. Short again on Hubley, serving from way downtown. They need a side out here. That's a really good angle. Quite straight in the approach, but the risk goes away. It's a good swing from Hubley. And that's just the story of the past points, isn't it, really? It's into the net, it's a sloppy, sloppy serve, and it's given the initiative straight back to Brazil. Barbara, who played with Agatha in 2015 to win that World Championships in Amsterdam.
looking to win her second world championship. This time with Fernanda. It's Barbara setting now. Fernanda chips to the line. Easy pickings for Brazil so far. It was close until the technical, really, even though it's a three point game. Fernanda just using her heights. Dribbling it short to the line. We've seen that before. They block angle. The defender sweeps the line up. So, so big. Fernanda into block. Jumping an angle. Barbara caught off the inside hand. Well, well, well. Swiss volleyball certainly growing. Multiple teams playing a big level, but can they compete with maybe the most prestigious nation in beach volleyball in history, especially in World Tour Volleyball on the women's side? Kerry Walsh Jennings, Misty May trainer, have really dominated big events. Three world championships and three Olympic gold medals, but Juliana Larissa have won the most World Tour medals overall. Top two on that list. Great setting for Bedchart. She really holds that one for days. Beaten deep. Barbara. Can't let that ball get past you. If you do, it's going into the stacks. There's a turnaround here. Switzerland in men's and women's world championship have made just two final fours, two silver medals. In their history. They would love to make the medal rounds here. They really would. It would be humongous. There's another error. Brazil, who should be cool, calm and collective, constructive out there. No. Switzerland just keep peppering the serves and Brazil are faltering. Even with the experience. Of Barbara. Time out, Brazil. Brazil, 104 entries, 12 gold medals, 9 silver, 10 bronze, 31 medals in total. Switzerland, no gold medals, 2 silvers, that's their only 2 silver medals. And their only 2 final fours as a nation ever. Well, the spikes of Fernanda, a constant thorn in the side of Switzerland. But it's Switzerland who are getting back into this. Loves going to the line, Fernanda. They need a point, Brazil desperately, Barbara finds one. Stays high over the top of the hands and it's a glorious swing, swinging up the whole time. All of the early sparring over and done with. Now the gloves are off. Talk about dealing with pressure. Bed chart 23 years old. Sees the blocker. Great eyes just there. Just nurdles it past. What a play at a pretty big time.
for Switzerland. The Lassica brothers in 99 in Marseille lost out to Jose Loyola and Emmanuel. Loyola now the coach of two teams. Switzerland are back on terms. This Swiss team trying to get to the same stages as the Lassica brothers. The final four would give them a chance to make a medal. Also, Paul Lassica, Sasha Hoyer. Legends of the game losing again in 2005 in Berlin. Marcio and Fabio that day beating them. But on the women's side, they've never managed to medal in a world championship. This would be massive for them. Barbara with the hammer. We're talking about Jose Loyola. As we have a look at that from Barbara, 75 kilometers an hour. Now coaching multiple USA sides. Born Crab going well, play today. Summer and Sarah Hughes as well. So now he's with the USA. Service pressure in or out? In! What a time to go back and serve an ace. Challenge, of course. No! It does not get any closer than this. Brazil say in. Poor guy providing the best cameras in the arena. My day for a moment, you would have thought it was out. First set point, Brazil, Hubley chipping away. The Swiss have really performed well in the second half of this set. Remember, three, four points down throughout. Just brushing it with the wrist away. Second set point. Barbara away from the body. High on Hubley, who slaps her hands. So frustrated for her in Switzerland. They worked so hard to get back into that set, but they will have belief that they can come back again. For Brazil, Barbara steady. Fernanda also consistent. Remember, Barbara won this competition in 2015. She knows what it takes at times like these to score big points. The match statistics for this one. One set to zero, but three aces. And that was, there was that point really towards the end of the set that really turned it back in Brazil's favor. Three errors each, 12 kills each, nothing between these two. One block from Fernanda, no blocks from Huberly left. That's got to be worth keeping an eye on. Unforced errors pretty close as well. What a competition. No surprise that Hamburg are back in this morning. But for Brazil, this is their last women's team. If they go out, it's the first time a Brazilian women's team have failed to make a podium. And it would be the first time for a Swiss female side to make a final four. Smooth from Huberly. For a team, maybe for both teams, this is going to be a tearjerker. High wrist goes really through 
accuracy on the money. This time the ball goes long. Service errors, the aces from Brazil were a, a real game changer. Really, really sloppy from Switzerland here. They're gonna have to tidy up their act if they wanna take this to three, even though it's so tight early on. Brazil just battling hard all the time. Dynamite! From their chart, so dynamic, effective. Faces angle, snaps back line, shows the defender one thing, and goes the other way. Leaking the ball well off the net. Barbara stays high. First block of the game for Tanya Hubley. High powered. Driving block after serving. Brazil out of system. This game has a lot of life left in it yet. Switzerland have come out slightly scrappy at times, but they're a 3-1 lead. Back set, Barbara. Two in a row from Hubley. Not one block in the first. Two in the opening stages of the second. This game is alive and kicking here in Hamburg. Bold start from Hubley. Spirited work at the back of the court from Bad Shark. Oh, almost three in a row. This time, Brazil find a way through. Defensive work from Fernanda this time. But she's blocked out from Hubli. Forceful work from Tanya Hubli. Jumping into the angle. No block actually from the first camera. It looked as if it hit the arms and went straight down. That's a net fault, but Hubli still showing presence up there. Tanya Hubley, well made. Strong Swiss infrastructure. Chasing down, Barbara needs to have a look at the court here. Works back across. That is potentially the swing of the day from Barbara. How about this one to pull out the hat? Looking straight, and how does the arm Work away from the body. That's a really narrow corridor to score into. Full stretch on the back court. But Barbara, that's unreal. Two looks at the court, best shot hasn't been in the game that much through the side out, but she's a pocket rocket. Really is a pocket rocket. Steady, stable, solid from Bear Charts. Straight into block, Hubley, chipping away. Red Shark, no way, not two from two. The Swiss are really in a good stage of the game here. Oh, Hubli and Bershart have just sparked up a match. 
and their world championship is far from over here. Four-point game. Timeout from Brazil. What else do we really want here? Two in a row for the Swiss, looking for their first ever final four in a world championship. This would be the first time that Brazil haven't made a final four in a world championship. The roof is on here in the Rottenbaum. The crowd still coming in. Capacity of 13,300 in the stadium that's usually used for tennis, the ATP Tour. Just one stop here at the Rottenbaum. But this week it's all about beach volleyball and it's been incredible. It's a little bit louder than the tennis you'd think as well. The atmosphere electric. Barbara needing to score. Dig from Bed Shop, but that one's in the stands almost leaving the stadium. Great swing from Barbara. Says sorry, not sorry probably. Well off the net, back off. Fernandez ready, Hubley. No, Barbara's there again, and she goes back off the body. That swing is potent. But she's won this competition before with Agatha. Agatha gone from this competition with Duda. Back to the line, Fernanda watching everything. Who, but he having a great run, but just over rotates this one the wrong side of the side. Three points in a row now for Brazil. And this is just the story of the game. Both teams using their timeouts so early on because they're both feeling the pressure out here. There's runs of points, but momentum here and the changes of momentum, crazy. the five best blockers of the entire competition. Heydrich at the top of 25 blocks, but that stat will not be going any further. Nor will Portzinger, 24. All of those teams out of the competition. So there's room for another blocker to take that center stage. What does those stats tell you? Does it tell you that it's a blocker's game? Who knows? The crowd erupt again here to Johnny Depp's name. From the outside, feet smuggled through. Brazil's block through the customs. Patrolled by Fernanda. Bish bash. The ball goes through to the sand. From wide, they've seen that one before. Fernando loves going to the line. Chipping back is Burchard. The Swiss refuse to give in here. A little look and then really one so far away from the body is such a great tool to have with the wrist just bringing the ball back to the line 
really working the thumb away from the body. Barbara, right side, needing one here, scores it. Of course she does. And this is what we're going to find with Brazil. They're just not going to give up. They're going to stay consistent and ask questions of Switzerland the whole way through this second set, you would imagine. Barbara just popping that one up is slightly off the net. from Brazil. We said they would not let up in their pursuit of winning this second. And the point swings again, very evident. Both teams struggling to side out on occasion. Bedsharp this time done to the inside. Vulnerable Switzerland again here. Uh, over the hands. Tanya Hubley, who for some time wasn't in the Swiss program, not only has got back into the program, she's performing incredibly well. Tanya Hubley here. Sebastian Beck, the head coach of the women's program from Switzerland, will be. Happy with this team this week, but it's an error from Brazil. Again, it gets back to one, and then it's a three-point gap. There's no consistency in this game. And we've seen what a World Championships really does to some teams. That's way out. Teams have just really folded under the added pressure of a world champ. Barbara goes long last time. Hubli. Who was delicate in the block in the opening set is now in fine feather. Sturdy up there, Hubley. Barbara. And then there's Bedshot. Just so good from Switzerland. Stable again. Vicious in defense. Sits round really late on the sharp angle and makes such a valuable play. Not only does she make the dig, it's also in the perfect setting position. Makes it easy for Hubley. And Beshart fires through. Brazil are out battled here by the Swiss. Can they make their first Final Four in World Championship history? For Beshart and Hubley, they've got three bronze medals on the World Tour in 39 competitions. Barbara and Fernanda, 22 events, three golds, one silver. Barbara is really feeling the pressure here. And for Switzerland, they just have to keep consistent and keep their side of the bargain because Barbara cannot find the sack. Super straight from Barbara, approaching straight as well. Chips high line, opens up the elbow so nice that she could still hit that really sharp one back on the cross court. That's good side out play. 
could have gone either way, chooses the dolly dropper to the line. It was rugged in the opening set from Brazil, a really hearty performance, but now they need to dig deep because Beth Sharp and Hoobly Hard as nails, Bashard again. Feet inside the ball, straight to the line. Back set, Barbara can't side out, going up and down. Barbara scores, Bashard's frustrated, but for Brazil, there's a really common cause for them that when the up and down ball doesn't work they resort to moving the ball around other teams move the ball around all the time but Brazil you can tell when they're struggling because that's when they change their offense Hubley high off the hands clear tactic deliberate from Tanya Hubley It's working as well, it really is. For this Swiss side, they are looking to go where no Swiss team has gone before in the women's side of the draw. Yes, the Lassica brothers made a silver medal. One Lassica brother with a certain Sasha Hoyer. as well, legends of the sport in Switzerland, but if Hubley and Bredschart can get their way in the final four at the expense of Brazil, this would be massive, Hubley again, on two, chipping away, Bredschart sees it early, what a rally! And that rally tells the story of the second set here in Hamburg, Brazil, Bombarded, bullied by the Swiss. Barbara has not found many solutions in this second set. Maybe the rub of the green working out that time as well off the net. But Barbara does side out, but this looks like it's going to three. You never want to make any assumptions here. Brazil are Brazil. They're the most successful nation in the world of World Tour Volleyball in the women's side. But this is maybe too far back for them. We've seen big names thrown out of this competition. Kerry Walsh Jennings, Brooke Sweat, they won in China, four-star event. They went. The European champions who beat the Swiss team earlier on, Meppelink Van Erzel, sorry, Meppelink and Sana Kaiser beating this team earlier on. It's the only time they've lost, but at the moment they look like they're in winning form. Everything, hustling. Brazil, opportunity. Left side, Barbara, no. Who's there? Nina Bredschart, of course she is. And of course, she puts pressure on Fernanda, who does wonderfully well, twice in a row. What are we watching here? It's a wonderful display. And after a real tussle between two world-class sides, Nina Bredschart, Puts that point to bed. Have you ever seen two teams work that hard for each other? If you ever 
want to know how much this competition means to these athletes. Just have a look at this run. Short. Fernando has to get really low, but it's a free ball. This should be a point here for Switzerland. Line judge waves the flag in the air. But there's a touch off the hands by the looks of it, and Switzerland have set point here. Barbara, who was so consistent in the opening set, is now suffering and struggling to side out. Barbara again, serving to the inside. Has she got a solution? Or do we go to three? There's a solution. Just one solution though. Second set point for Switzerland, who have been so, so strong. We go to three in this quarter final of an FIVB beach volleyball event. The Swiss, in their history, on the women's side, have never made a final. But for their nation, the proud nation of Brazil, Betchart, double junior world champion, serving on Barbara. One error for Barbara. And we haven't seen the same fluency that means that she can work away from the bot. There you go, Brazil. Once again, they run a different offense once their up and down play starts to falter. And for Sebi Beck and Christoph Diekman, these are big moments for them as well. The coaching staff who will be watching closely from the stands. Switzerland, well, they've played big games. The European Championship final in Zilla Park last year was a big occasion for this pairing. Let's see what they learned that time that can be transferred here in Hamburg today. Barbara, snaps back angle, two errors already. A world champion, Barbara, is maybe the one that we'd expect to grab this game by the scruff of the neck. But it's Hoobly that grabs this game by the scruff of the neck. Barbara, two errors and one kill block against her mean that the Swiss take the opening end of this game. 5-1, Hoobly. Diving into the angle, super late. Breshart sweeping the line, but it's all about Huberly and her timing to take that point. 25 blocks now for Tanya Huberly. That's the best in the competition. Overtaking Joanna Heydrich, knuckling high. Barbara.
Service pressure to the sideline from Fernandez. She has to run in, and it's very difficult to find balance and stability in the block. Barbara lights up in the backcourt, but so does Bretchart. No matter what Brazil do here, they cannot find a way past Switzerland. And you have to start thinking, is this Switzerland's day? Back on one. Laura Ludwig-esque from Nina Berchart. That's the moment when you start to think it might just be your turn to play in the medal rounds. It's a long way back now for Brazil. Three-point game in the third. It's a race to 15. Hubley decides to block, and she blocks again, constantly communicating, but smuggled through by Fernanda. Challenge coming from Switzerland. And you think of great Swiss teams in the past. Players. Heydrich, who's already out this competition, playing with Anouk Virgil Dupree, but Heydrich playing with Both defenders really deserve so much credit. Izzy for it and Nadine Zumka for what they've given to beach volleyball in Switzerland. Never made a top four of a world championship. No fault called. Nadine Zumka playing with Joanna Hydrick for a long time and Izzy for it and Anouk. Fersha Dupree. But now it's this team at the forefront of the sport for the Swiss. What a dig! Barbara just sits in the scene and makes the plug. Second opportunity. This is a tool that Tanya Hubley really has in her locker. First time she approaches straight and hits the center. She didn't have many angles on her then, but this time she shows a lot of cross court. And she chips back to the line. It's a brush from Hubley. Hubley, who's now the top blocker in this competition, charging in to try and make another block on Barbara. Chipping over from Barbara over Hubley. And in every stage of this game, if you doubt Brazil, more for you. Because Brazil have a habit of never disappearing in any game of volleyball ever. Back to the line scene. Barbara is not siding out as well as she could do, but she is playing defense with her heart on her sleeve. And it's that first defensive touch that keeps Brazil in the rally for Fernanda to get back on the net and do the business for Brazil. But where Brazil are battling for every scrap that they can get in this game. Berchardt just stays so clutchy. Little look, chops it back on the sharp one. She's facing so straight, the defender sits in the middle of the court. Great work with the wrist from Berchardt. Can the Swiss handle the pressure here in Hamburg? Because if there's one thing we know, it's that Brazil have been in these situations before. 
They know what it's like to play in World Championship Finals, both of these pairs. The Swiss don't. This is new territory for them. Barbara is back. Normal's the call. Up and down set. Breshart. Two rips in a row. Piercing the sand on the angle. The first one, the sharp one. Second one. Brazil looked like they double up on the angle. Oh, sorry, double up on the line. Yes, they do. Fernanda taking the line. Sweeping up the line is Barbara. But Breshart has great vision. She'll see everything if you go too early on her. She really will. Barbara. Goes short, but it's really left lacking from Barbara. But Fernanda gets Brazil out of trouble for the time being. But Beshock makes a great bit of defense, reading everything. And Barbara finally, second time. Fernanda deserves that hug, though. Beshock, double take at the court, jumping back to the line. Beshock playing superbly well, but Brazil upping their level once again when they really have to. That's so good from Barbara. So, so good. And for anybody watching this game in Switzerland, Brazil, you must be feeling some anxious moments as well. Nina Breshart, remember the name. This is why she's a double world junior champion. She rises to the occasion when her country needs it the most. Outside, chip to the line, who's there? Who is there again? Breshart with the cut shot! This is remarkable! Hubley made so many blocks in set two. They've scared Brazil now when they chip around. Nina Breshart facing the line, whips it back angle. There is no defending that because it's too good a shot and it's so well disguised. Three-point game again. Brazil pushing back all the way. But who is there this time? And for Switzerland, they can now start to dream. The likes of the Lassigas, Marcus Edgar, Sasha Hoyer, spoken about still in the beach volleyballing world as legends of the game from Switzerland. But it looks as if Ubeli and Beshart will now become legends themselves if they can win this game. There will be a first here today. A first Swiss female final four to play Canada. Or the first time that Brazil don't make a podium or a final four in a world championship. Knuckle back to the angle. Three points the difference. This is a huge, huge time of the game. The Swiss are not home and dry yet. 
They really are. A side out now would release the pressure. The pass is really focused and good from Hubley. It's just padded away. Hubley has a free net and scores. Maybe. Actually, let's change that. Definitely the biggest point of this game so far. An ace or a point in any way for Brazil brings them back to two. Instead, it's a four-point game. Massive. Serving to the inside of Fernand. Bersha up from the left. It's dribbling on the net. Bam. Barbara can only knuckle because the set is so tight. Hubley makes space. Standing shot. She only just works the ball on a roll. Shot to Barbara, who scores. Subtle from Barbara. The cut shot. It's good again, Brazil, buying their time. But their time is running out. Every side out for Switzerland becomes more and more crucial. If they lose one here, Brazil are back to two and it's game on again. Something has to give. Surely the Swiss cannot stay this composed. They can for the moment. And it's a four point game again. Under pressure to make history. Hubley stays so calm. Bershot serving. Fernanda the target. Brazil will still have a small bit of hope here, but they need this point. This point is the most important for Brazil, maybe in this whole competition for any team. From the left side, Switzerland. It's a rushed swing. Going for broke, but it's wide. A swing for 14-10. They challenge, but a, a good opportunity there for Switzerland to go four in front. Switzerland, edge, closer. Although, a Brazil point here and the pressure is really on. A handling error from the referee. We've hardly seen a handling error here all week long. Nina Breschart, sweaty palms. Great timeout from Hubley. But when the pressure's on and the hands are sweaty, Ball just unclean through the hands of Nina Breschard. This will be a great look. Breschard's underneath the ball. She knew that she was penalized. Brazil are really back in this one. They still have a job to do, Switzerland. Called for a carry last time. 
Barbara is so experienced in this game. She goes straight after Hubley. This is a massive moment. Brazil to get back to one. Fernanda, Breshart's there. Hubley managed to scoop it out the net, but on the turn, Breshart. Brazil, second opportunity. Barbara, Hubley is there. Third, way! Barbara, under all sorts of pressure, produces a moment of class. Here in the Red Bull Beach Arena. And Brazil from four down, a back to one. And if Switzerland weren't feeling nervous, they will be now. From the left side, off the hands and out of play. So close off the outside hand of Fernand. The anticipation for beach volleyballing fans around the world, but especially in Switzerland. This would be a result to remember forever. Hubley charging in on the first match point saved from Brazil. Clutch at crunch time from Fernanda. Second match point. Either Brazil, for the first time ever, are not going to have a ladies team on the podium, or Switzerland will have a team in the final four. And it's Switzerland that make history in Hamburg. For the first time ever, a Swiss team will be going through to the final four on the women's side of the draw, following in the footsteps of the Lassica brothers and Sasha Heyer in the past. It's now the turn of the ladies. And Brazil, for the first time ever, will not have a female side in the final four. Wow. What a moment. History being made 